everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and macOS Sonoma 14.0 is now available to the public after months of beta releases. In this video, I'm going to go over everything that you're going to need to know before you upgrade to macOS Sonoma 14.0, plus some open core legacy patcher information that I didn't go over in my status update video that I just put out earlier today. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Sonoma was the last major OS that Apple has released this year. The iPhone 15 came out, the major OS was 17.0, and Apple had released 17.0.2 for iPhone 15 models, but today they released it for all iPhones and all supported iPad OS versions. HomePod and TVOS are still at 17.0, along with the Studio Display firmware that was released today at 17.0. But if you have a Apple Watch Series 9, or an Ultra 2, you also got 10.0.2. Now, if you have Mac OS Ventura, you are still on 13.6 and Monterey is still on 12.7. A demonstration Mac here today is a 2023 16 inch M2 MacBook Pro. And we're actually going to walk through a full upgrade from Mac OS Ventura to Mac OS Sonoma. And normally we'd just do an update, but it'll be fun today because we're gonna do a full upgrade. So if you want to be able to do the upgrade, all you need to do is go into system settings and then you should see it available in software update. You can get there through general and then software update, but you can just click on here because you see the one. Now what you'll see immediately in here is Mac OS Sonoma. Now the problem is, is that you don't have to go to Sonoma to get the update. Let's say you wanna be able to just remain on Mac OS Ventura, Mac OS Monterey, you can, but the problem is you're gonna to have to scroll all the way down here to be able to see the updates that, that you need to be able to install. And they're all under this really kind of hidden area. You can see here that we're on Ventura 13.5, but let's say we wanted to install the latest version of 13.6. You have to click more info, and then you finally see the 13.6 update and the now individual Safari updates to keep your Mac secure on Mac OS Ventura and on Mac OS Monterey. So you can click install now and to get to the latest version of Ventura, or you can do like what we're going to do today. We're going to upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma 14.0. The full installer is around 12 gigabytes in size. So the upgrade should anywhere between four to seven gigabytes for the upgrade. So all you need to do is click upgrade now. And before you do it, make sure that you have a full backup before you do the upgrade just in case something goes wrong you can always go back to your backup so before you click agree make sure you got that time machine or a file backup click agree we'll type in our password and this now it's going to start downloading Sonoma 14.0. And what we'll see here is the total size. Sometimes it updates the recovery partition and other things that makes the size a little bit larger. So we'll see here in just a second how big that size is. There we go, 7.7 .7 gigabytes. So what we're going to do is let this continue to download. Then it's going to go into preparing mode and it's going to restart to apply the update. I'm going to keep track on how long it actually takes to install the upgrade. And then we'll be back right after it finishes the upgrade. Now, one thing I wanted to mention before this thing kicks off is that if you are on a beta version or an RC release candidate version, make sure that you turn off the beta track. If you see the beta track right here, just click it. If it says public beta, developer beta, click it and click off. And then you should see the final version. If you don't see the final version, that must mean that you are on RC2, which is 23A334. And if you're on that version, then you are on the public release version of Mac OS Sonoma and you're fine. But if you're on RC1 or beta 7, you're gonna wanna update to 4 14.0 with that build version number to be on the full public release. Okay, we're back after the upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma 14.0. Now I mentioned earlier in the video about the build version and I wanted to, to call this out one more time just in case you were on RC1 or beta seven or you were on RC2 and you're wondering, wait, I don't see the update to the public version. That's because the version of 23A344 is RC2 and the public version. So if you're on that version already, you're already on the latest version and you don't have to do anything at all. Just make sure that you go into system settings and turn off your beta updates. So if you're on a previous version, you'll see this version, you can update to it immediately. How long did it take to install the 14.0 upgrade? And it started the preparing at 1140 and ended at 1152. So the preparing part only took 12 minutes total time. Now, after it rebooted, it took 15 minutes of actual installation time for a total of 27 minutes start to finish from upgrading from Ventura 13.5 to macOS Sonoma 14.0. So before I made the upgrade, I wanted 
wanted to check how big the Mac OS installation was on Mac OS Ventura 13.5, and it was 13.78 gigabytes. Now, after we upgraded to Mac OS Sonoma 14.0, it did make a huge jump to 18.03 gigabytes. Now, that's a pretty big size difference here because the previous operating systems have always been around anywhere between 12 and 13 gigabytes. Now, what I think that is, the new wallpapers, the 4K wallpapers that we see that move in the background. So for example, if we lock our screen here, we can see that start to move. If we open up the Mac, it'll slow it down as it continues to move and it slowly stops. And that's the only one that's downloaded. But if you go into wallpaper here, you'll see all the amazing landscape and cityscape moving wallpapers. And you can see the little download button here. See that you can click that download button and then you can download that and it's starting to download now. And there it is, check that out. So I checked to make sure that's where it was stored and it's not, it's stored on the Macintosh data drive. And you can see here, I took a screenshot before I downloaded the California range and it was 39.62 or a little bit less. And then once it was downloaded, it went up to 40.41. So just under a one gigabyte in size for the 4K wallpaper. So if we go and close these out and then go back to our storage, we can see that that will um, show that it did not change in the Mac OS installation here. And there it is, 1803. That stays the same. All the wallpapers you download go onto the Macintosh data partition. Now what about Safari? Safari was updated to 17.0. 17.0 was also released for Mac OS Ventura and Mac OS Monterey, but it was not released for Mac OS Big Sur. So that pretty much puts the nail in the coffin for Mac OS Big Sur. It is no longer supported. That's something that you're gonna to need to think about if you're still on Mac OS Big Sur, should you make that jump? I do recommend you making the jump to at least Mac OS Monterey, so you are at least security supported by Apple. The 14.0 update also upgraded the Apple Silicon firmware version to 10151.1.1. And I wanted to call that out and why that's important because this screenshot was taken before the upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma. And the OS Loader version is the version of Mac OS Ventura 13.5. But notice how the, the firmware version is a higher version. It should be matched. The reason why this is different is, is if you upgrade and then downgrade with just the installer from a USB, the firmware does not go back down and it's remaining as a beta firmware version of Mac OS Sonoma. That's why it's important that when you do a downgrade on Apple Silicon, if you want the firmware version and the OS loader version to be the same, you have to use Apple Configurator 2 to do the restore. It's not gonna hurt anything, but you don't know the compatibility with this beta version of system firmware and Mac OS Ventura. So I just wanted to call that out. If you upgraded your Intel Mac, the BridgeOS firmware was updated to 21 5.1. Apple also released a new full installer final version of 14.0 as an install assistant full installer package that you can download. And they release an IPSW restore file, as I just mentioned earlier, for Apple Configurator 2 to be able to restore your Apple Silicon Mac right here on my download database. What's new in the 14.0 update for Sonoma? Well, a ton of stuff, and that's why I'm gonna put this link in the description. This shows what's new in updates for Mac OS Sonoma. There's a ton of stuff here, and we'll be out here all night if I go over all these things, and you can take a look at these if you want here, but this is a full detailed list. And if you go to the Mac OS Sonoma website, Apple did change this from the Sonoma preview to just Mac OS Sonoma because it's now live for the public, and they also have a PDF that you can download that shows over 100 160 different new features for Mac OS Sonoma. Now let's talk about what's new in enterprise for Mac OS Sonoma for education and businesses and government. There is a large list here of device management changes that are really great for Mac OS admins. And it's really great to see that Apple is documenting every single one of these and listening to the feedback of Mac admins, telling them this is what we need to be able to make the Mac successful in the business and education and government environment. So this is just wonderful to see. And a new 
section was added down here for bug fixes and other improvements. Now you've heard me talk about the need for better patch notes as for as long as I've been talking about Mac OS. So it's wonderful to see Apple putting in these extra details. These are the things that we love to be able to see. It's so important for everybody to know that these are actually being done in the background. So again, wonderful job, Apple. Keep this up. Keep giving us those patch notes that we really like to see. What's new in security for Mac OS Sonoma? They have a new support document for all the security changes for Mac OS Sonoma and for Safari 17.0. So if we go to the Sonoma section here, we can see all the security updates and there's over 60 security updates in the 14.0 upgrade. And it's significant how many are listed here. And it's great to see that these are all being fixed by Apple and fully documented in this document. So let's take a look at the Geekbench 6 benchmark scores. So I took a benchmark at 13.5 Ventura and we had a 2670 for a single core and a 14763 for a multi-core. And when we made the jump to 14.0, we got a 27 single core, a little bit better, and a multi-core 14757, which is a little bit less. So pretty much on target, not a huge jump or not a slower marks. It's just interesting to take a look at these scores and we'll take another look once a another update like 14.1 or 14.2 comes out maybe it'll be streamlined a bit a little bit more and be a little bit faster but we'll take a look at that when that hits now let's talk about open core legacy patcher and mac os sonoma i put out a video today talking about the current status of mac os sonoma and the re new release 1.0.0 that is coming which has been released to be october 2nd for the full supported release of mac os sonoma so if you want to just take a quick overview of that you can or i can give you also a quick update you want to hold off on trying to install this on your main device so let's say you have sonoma or or Monterey on your main unsupported Mac and you want to try out Sonoma, I would recommend holding off for now. And again, that's because the supported version of Open Core Legacy Patcher is not out yet. Plus, there's still some things that aren't fully working 100% yet. And it's just the initial release. So again, that's always happened in the previous releases. The developers did the best job that they could to get all these things fixed for the latest version, but there's just so many things to work on. If you look in here, all these things have been already fixed by the developers all during this current beta release schedule. And it's wonderful to see all the progress that they've made through the support cycle here. Bluetooth support, USB ethernet wpa2 enterprise all these different things if you need a solid system stay on mac os monterey or stay on mac os ventura for now and then give the developers a little bit more time to develop the patcher and even for apple to come out with maybe 14.1 or 14.2 before you make that jump because even the operating system is being optimized too. bug fixes and improvements to all the new features and improvements that apple's released so that's just my update and my recommendation if you're thinking about open core legacy patcher and the new 1.0.0 update coming out october 2nd i'll make sure that i put out a new open core legacy patcher update video to go over all those changes and a new walkthrough for mac os sonoma so you can follow through if you want to be able to test out sonoma on your device so stay tuned for that do I recommend installing Mac OS Sonoma on your main device? We talked about Open Core Legacy Patcher just earlier here, and I said hold off on that, and that's my recommendation for now because, again, of how new it is and the patcher is just coming into full support with 1.0.0. But if you're on a supported Mac, that's a tough call because some people have already made the jump and everything worked out great. As you could see here today, the upgrade worked fine. No issues whatsoever. Thing is, is that maybe it doesn't work so well for you. Maybe one of your applications isn't working properly or whatever it could be. Maybe your upgrade doesn't work well and maybe you're having crashing or something like that. Well, you won't know until you make that jump, but that's why I always recommend doing a time machine backup before you make the upgrade. Because if something goes wrong, you can always downgrade if really needed, if something's really, really bad. Or you can just wait out until 14.1 comes out and maybe it fixes some of those issues. And it's so early in the cycle, we're only at 14.0. If you wanna play it safe, usually a lot of people will wait until maybe 14.2 or even 14.3 before they make that full jump. But it's up to you. And it's a tough to make a call this early in the game 
uh, whether you should make the upgrade or not, but let me let me know what you've done. Have you decided to hold off or did you jump in today and upgrade? I wanna know from you, what are you gonna do or how is Sonoma working on your Mac right now and how do you feel about it? Can't wait to hear from you in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.